everyone, it's Prima Rabbit here, and welcome to the special 15,000 subscriber video! Uh, yeah! Woohoo! Uh, okay, so this video is supposed to be like a, a little different than the one I'm making now, but I just don't have enough time to make it super special. So I'm gonna push that back. To like 20,000 subscribers. Sorry, this one is 15,000 subscribers, though. And a lot of people, a lot of you, are gonna love this video. Hopefully, because I'm going to teach you how to draw the kawaii potato. And you might think that I'm meaning you like last time when I told you that I was gonna draw knuckles on a hand. Nope, this is 100% honest drawing. I promise. So, first off, you want to you want to create a new file here and uh, make it whatever resolution you want. I usually go by 1920 by 1080 because that's the video length and stuff. So, now that you've done that, you want to change your size of the thing to be oops, to be as big as you want it to be. So here you can do it like this big. I'm going to probably go up to 14 because that's about the size of a potato, uh, the potato length or the line. And you want to try and pick the color of the outline that you like. Bl uh, black will work. If you have a pencil, then you can't really change the size or the color unless you have a colored pencil. But for now, we're, I'm gonna use a predisposed color, which is this one. Uh, if you wanna, hang on, let me. Let me fill that in. If you want to copy this color, you can uh, copy your screen by clicking on the print screen button and then pasting it on uh, whatever drawing software you use, uh, MS Paint or uh, Clip Studio or, or GIMP. I don't know which one you use. Photoshop. Here's the color that you want to use for the line art. Alright, there you go. So, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to use my little brush tool here, and we're going to just make a really nice... Oh, that's not nice. We're going to make a potato. We want to make it as... It, it's going to be hard, but there, that, that's actually pretty good. We want to make it as smooth as possible, as potato-y as possible. Now here you see that there is a, a little bit of a, you know, a, a thing where I started the line and ended the line. You kind of don't want that in your potato because that's not how a potato would look. So I'm going to erase that and then I'm going to fill it in a little bit more. So once it's filled in, it'll look a little bit more natural. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty bad at this. There's, oh, there's better people that can do, there's people who can do this better, but this is just what I do. And uh, yeah, so I can, my best to fill that in. If I go back here, it looks oh, it looks okay. Uh, I'm gonna turn the page a little bit. If you're on paper and pencil, you can easily turn the paper around. If you're in the paint tool side, you can press delete and the end keys in order to turn the page or turn the canvas. I guess that's what it's normally called. Uh, I need to undo. Here's the undo button over here. So you can just color that in. Oh, wait, what the heck? <laughs> Kate, Kate is drawing. Well, there you go. Okay, so I'm gonna turn off my alerts here. <laughs> I'm supposed to be recording this, not streaming it. I'm not streaming it at all. So, well, there you go. There's your, sh there's your shout out, Kate. I, I hope you appreciate that shout out there. <laughs> well, um, wow, this eraser is not good. What? It's on 50? That's ridiculous. Anyways, I'm gonna hit the home key and we're back here. So this is what we have so far. Now, if you were coloring this in with like a colored pencil or something, you'd want to take this color here. It's a very pinkish color. Let me fill in this so you can copy that too using the print screen method and pasting and then copying that and whatever. But from there, uh, you want to fill this in. Uh, normally, in order to fill this in, with, uh, with in like paper and pencil, traditional, you'd want to color it in like this, and you want to color in the lines, you want to color it in as much as you can, and, and that would be good. 
But because we are on computer, we can just fill it in. And there you go. We did it. We filled it in completely. And that's how you get that that look. That's how you get the pink of the potato. Now, after that, we have the potato part. This is a potato. But it's not a kawaii potato. It's just a potato. It's only a potato and that's all it's ever going to be until we make it kawaii! Kawaii! Ah! Yeah, there you go. So if you want- so when you want to make it kawaii, you're going to uh, first, you want to draw eyes, and they're just circle eyes. Oh no, that's not as circly as I wanted it to be. You're gonna want to draw circle eyes as circular as you possibly can. Big eyes are good too to make it kawaii, but it's not supposed to be this big. Um, I think I might have made it a little not too round. If you have a circle tool, you can actually. Uh, I don't know if I have a circle tool on the paint tool side, unfortunately. Oh no. Um, maybe I can... Ooh, I know I can do. So what I can do is I can put it up to 50, and then I can create a small circle dot like this. And boom! That's an eye. That's a good eye. But it's not supposed to be over here, it's supposed to be like over here or something. Actually, right here is about good. So you want to draw, draw two eyes, two dots, like that, just like that. Actually, probably want to put this a little bit higher. There you go. There you have two eyes. But it's not kawaii yet. You need to put... Well, actually, I should probably make the eyes bigger now that I think about it. Uh, how, how, however, however big you want to make the eyes, you can do whatever you want. It's your, it's your choice to make the big eyes. So I'm gonna make big eyes. Big eyes. There you go. So there are the eyes. And, uh, that's good. But it's not kawaii yet. What makes it kawaii? Well, you can also... Well, I'm gonna go back to 20. You need to put the face in. So you have to put the little... This here. And then, it's not kawaii yet. It looks like a blank stare and he's going... Blah, blah. It's not kawaii yet! So you want to add some little dimple things here. You want to add a little puffy face here and a puffy here. And it's a little bit more kawaii. It's a little more cute. But there's still something missing. What's missing? What's the missing link? Well, the answer is... You're missing the sparkle in the eyes! In the sparkle, you just want to use white. White is the best way to do this. So I'm going to create a new layer. You can, you're unable to make layers when you, you're on pencil, but if you have a white white pencil, colored pencil, you can do this. If you have paint, you can do this. And all you gotta do is just, you want to draw the lights in the eyes, like this. And you draw the eyes, and there, it's much more kawaii! It's so cute! It's a kawaii potato! Of course, I, I should probably, uh, actually move the face a little bit because it's, uh... It's a little... It's not supposed to be there. You, normally, you can't move the face... Oops! You can't... You, normally, you can't move the face, but, like... Because I'm on the computer, I can do it. If you're on a, if you're doing something else, like if you're on a pencil and paper, I'm sorry, it's gonna be a little difficult for you. But you can move it around like that, and it's a little more cuter because now the face is like where the face should be. Now, what's next on the list to do for the potato? What? How do we? How do we make it even more kawaii? Well, what you want to do from here is that you want to make a blush. You have to add blush. So we're going to take a very red red, very very red red, and we are going to, we're going to color over, well actually we should make it a little bit more like lighter red, it's going to be more of a pinkish. 
we're going to color over it and there now it looks a little cuter but it's not super cute because it's not a blush it's not soft and stuff what you want to do is you want to blur it out if you're on if you're on computer and stuff you want to blur it out a little bit add more and blur it out and then just blur it out and then you got that going for you you got a blush you got a cute blush and it's a kawaii potato it's a really cute potato um but you know that is just how you do it that's how you do how you draw a kawaii potato that's how you do it guys i'm i'm proud of what we've accomplished we drew a potato we drew a kawaii potato together and if you guys are wondering how to do a blush just just take a pinkish color that is not the pink here and just usually a little bit more darker though like a darker pink a darker shade of this pink a little bit more red and just color over it you can smudge it a little bit if you're on traditional paper and pencil smudge it a little bit in order to get that little blush smudge look that you can see here the little blur look now normally you also see stuff like here i'm also gonna do clipping group norm normally if you're on the pencil and paper you're just gonna have to deal with the colors and uh what it can do uh we're going to copy this little light part and then we're gonna make it a little dark and we are going to just do this here actually i should make it a little bit more purple purplish gray would probably look better yeah, it's a little better. So you see, it's darker, and this is the shade! And that makes it even more kawaii. So here, you just want a darker version of the pink, but also make it a little, add a little more blue to it. And then you wanna add some soft shades here. Actually, um, I should probably erase a part of it. I, uh, you won't be able to erase, but I can, because I'm on a computer. So, you want to blur here, blur here, and then you want to erase a little bit. Actually, that's a lot, that's too much blur. Blur here, then erase. And there. I want to actually do a little better job than that. You can actually keep, you don't have to blur it. I like the blur because it has a really nice effect to it. A nice, uh, I, I did a thing effect. Like, it, like, makes it softer on some points and then, like, harder on some. But, uh, yeah. And you don't have to erase either. It's just a little aesthetic thing. I should probably not at all blur that. That's fine. It looks he looks bald when I do that actually. I mean the potato the quiet potato is bald. What am I saying? So I should just blur this part out here and then this part out should be blurred. I can probably add some more here and then blur that out. That should look nice-ish. There you go! And you have successfully drawn a kawaii potato. There you go. I, ho I hope you enjoyed me drawing a potato for you guys. And this is... And now you can make your own. Kawaii... Potato. Kawaii. There you go. Also, if you really, really wanted to, oops, that's too big. You can make the, uh, you can make the, you can make it even smaller.
or you can make him smile. But you have to add the little you have to add the little things here, right here. You have to add that part in order to collide, make it collide. Or else it loses its charm. There you go. It's the kawaii potato. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys at 20,000 subscribers. Or at least until the next video. <laughs> oh boy. Bye bye.